Sorry. Okay. Um, what's up? Go ahead. Steve, out of all of the defensive numbers and, and things that your defense has done, what's the one that you look at for giving your team the most success? Well, it's it really starts with the run game for us, and, and that's kind of old hat for for you to hear that, but. That's where we began this season, you know, going after, trying to show that we could, you know, play the running game, and uh, that takes the most discipline. It, it takes the most, you know, commitment and focus. And we thought it was a great place, and Clint thought it was a great place to start, you know, and to build from. And so, way back, we've been, we've been on that for some time now, and it's given us a, a baseline, really. Um, this isn't always going to be great, but it's it is where we start from, and then uh, I, th I think what. Uh, the commitment that we've had to the scheme and, the, and w how it, would, it was designed to fit the players, um, we're starting to see some benefits from. And, and we're seeing guys feel comfortable with what we're asking them to do. And they're playing quick and fast and, and confident. And um, so the overall play is really, is really picked up from that. The passing numbers are way down in recent games for your opponents. Is that, how much of that is just getting some guys back healthy versus the There's a lot of stuff. Together. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Pass rush has really been a factor. It, it was like game three or something like that. Uh, when you know, we, we had a bunch of numbers, 27 or something, effects on the quarterback, whatever it was. That was when it started. And we just, the pass rush started to come together. And, uh, you know, you can't play great pick coverage without the rush. You know, the quarterbacks are too good. So um, I think that's where it started yesterday about the emphasis on the third down defense. The last two games, you guys have allowed a 33% of the conversions. How are you seeing that manifesting? You mentioned the pass rush, but being able to have the flexibility now with Jamal Adams and Devin Witherspoon and Julie Love and all those guys playing back. I, all of those those names are all the, the reasons. You're yeah, Moving them all over the place, though, the flexibility. How much do you yeah, see that? Yeah, cool that's, that's the familiarity and staying together and communications. And it just took us some time to get there, you know, and, and uh, we're asking these guys to, you know, be really, really disciplined about what they're doing, and it takes time to develop that discipline, and and also then it's the connection of the communication, so everybody works together well, and that's that's what we're working on. We're a long ways to go yet, but but we're a lot better off than we were. Yeah. Any, any update on uh, Uchenna and Uchenna? Yeah, he's he's got a um, he's got a pec injury that's going to probably require surgery. Yeah, that's what that's what we're hearing right now. So. That long-term thing, then. Or? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What? I, Thank you. I guess Boye and Daryl and stuff like that. But how do you kind of replace him, then? Or you know, what do you got? Well, we got to you know count on the rotation. You know, we've had a rotation going the whole time, and and uh, we'll we'll just continue that. It, it challenges it though. Chen is a fantastic football player and a great team member. You know, he's such a tough guy and such a, uh, a heady player and and so consistent. Um, he's always really physical, so he always sends the right message. And all that. we really will miss him. Yeah, I, I don't have all of the information on it, but it sounds like the, you know that it's heading towards surgery. So if that happens, yes. Pete, what have you thought of Jamal's first two full games back? Games well, it, this one you know, he played a lot in this game, and, and uh, he was very comfortable, um, was really really consistent. I played solidly uh, in the spot. Um, he, he has a lot, you know. He brings a lot, of, a lot of fire, a lot of juice, and and the toughness, and and uh, it's great to have him out there with the fellows. So I, I think he's really ready to go. We got to make sure that, we, like last week, we needed to kind of monitor what we were doing coming off his first, the first time out. We got to check and see where it is this week, and we got to keep track of it. It um, we did that with Jordan for about a month, you know, and and uh, so whatever, however long it takes. But um, uh, he, he was he he felt good throughout the game. Jordan, what are your thoughts on the way he's playing? Yesterday's game seemed pretty. Yeah, standout. he had a, he had a really standout game yesterday. Just it had a lot of opportunities in open field and and uh, closed the distance. For, you know, with the great quicks that he has, tackled really well, um, plays in the passing game. He was everywhere, and and uh, I think he had nine tackles in the game, a couple for loss and stuff. He he just was, you know, doing what he does, and uh, it was really fun to see him play like that. You mentioned at halftime how motivated he was by coming off the field in the first half when you guys went sub back into three safeties, nickel without. How much of a buy in does he have overall to be able to perform like he did yesterday? He pretty much ticked off. He's, he's all in. He's all in. Man, he's, he's, um, 
and, and he's trying to master what, what he's asked to do, you know, and there's more stuff too. You know, we have more things to continue to grow with him because he's, he's so, such a versatile football player. Some things that we thought we might use in the game we didn't use, you know, so, um, you know, we'll, he's just on, he's just on a whole different wavelength now. I think he's by far the best he's been. He's the clearest he's been, and uh, he's playing his best football. With Chenna, the, besides his pass rush skills, what are you going to miss in his spirit and, and just, he seems to have an energy to the defense that he's Yeah, he's, he's one of the real, you know, pillars of this thing, you know, and it's going to be hard to not have him because he, he, he has a great voice and they listen to him and, and uh, he doesn't say a lot, but, but when he does, you know, he, he's, he's strong and firm and, and uh, that's leadership, you know, so we're going to miss that. There's, there's really no way to replace that. He's, he's too unique. Uh, other guys will have to add what they can bring, you know, and, but, uh, we're going to really miss Jenna. Does, it, does Derek Hall let you slot into a, a little bit more of a bigger role? Yeah, all those guys will play more. Where, yeah. where do you see Derek's? He's coming. Player? He's coming. He had his best game on special teams this week. It was great to see that. Uh, most consistent game uh, there. Um, it's just time. You know, he, he's, he's doing great. He's big and strong. I mean, he's on the same kind of arc that, that Boye was on, you know, and, and that is, they're very similar. Uh, I, don't, I said, mentioned that to somebody, and they, they were surprised that I said that. They're the same height, weight, speed, strength, power. You know, they're very, very similar players. And they're different people totally, and, and they have their own ways about them. But, um, you know, you can see that the, still the, the first year stuff is still happening at times, and it's going to continue to happen. We saw Boy had this play the other day, kind of you know, fooling with him a little bit about jumping too early and leaving his feet, and you know, those things that, that that won't happen in time. Um, there's just new stuff that's going to occur for, uh, you know, for D Hall, and, and uh, but he's he's an effective football player. That's a pretty sweet spot for you guys, but will you have to make a move there to add something at outside linebacker? Um, we're not thinking like that yet. You know, we're now we're, we're going to try to, you know. Absorb it. How do you how do you assess Daryl Taylor's kind of year so far? Um, I thought he had a good game. I thought it was one of his better games, and, and uh, it, you know we need him. You know we need him to be a factor. You know he, he got going. I think he had a pretty good second half to last year too. I think he, he didn't need to start a little bit slower, um, but uh, he, he sure is capable of making things happen. He had a nice game yesterday, knocking a ball down and the sacks and stuff. So we're we're calling on him to be part of it, a bigger part of it. How far has he come as like a run defender? Where, where's he at there? No, he's 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 effective. He's, he's got, to, you know, he's got to find his consistency with it. Um, but he's good at it. You know, and we're, we're, he's playing in crucial situations too. So we're counting on him. You talked yesterday about Kenneth Walker, you know, hard running game. It, has he gotten better at kind of just taking the what's there on some plays and getting the three four yards? Yeah, I, I I think he's I think he's you know he realizes that you can't try to break everything and, and sometimes you know he, he's making a little clearer choices, I think, about hitting the line of scrimmage. And, and there's good things that happen when you do that, too. You know, the breaks come from that also. So I think he's doing really well. Um, he's a highly creative runner, and you got to give him space. You know, he's going to go for stuff, and that's the only way he's going to make some of these amazing plays, too. So I got a lot of latitude for him. But he's looking to try to take advantage of everyone. He didn't want to miss one because he's trying to do something else. He, he knows, you know, and, and – uh, uh, I think the, as physical as you ran yesterday, it was it was really cool to see that. Give him give him a little, couple of Zach shots out there. How would you assess week one after these three games? He's come back from the injury. Um, it, it's taken Rico a while to get his full speed back, but he's back. He's he, he's he's measuring the times that like you know that we're. Uh, I guess the Giants game was, you know, he was 22 miles an hour or something. You know, he, he's he's flying again. It took him a while though, um, and. It, it it did disrupt the process for him. I think that he's coming out of that uh, now, and it, it, he now that he has his legs and he's got his his, his full speed back. I think we're going to see him really make a big jump. And I, I, I think it's taken him a while to get back to full, and uh, so he's been surviving it pretty well so far. He had a couple nice plays again. What's going to determine whether Chen needs surgery? That's the docs and Jen. I mean, until he has it, you know, they, I mean, he just hasn't had surgery yet. Okay, and it's not as far as I know, it's not scheduled or nothing. So let's just and just give me a bit of latitude there. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on yet yeah, until okay. that happens. Sorry. So it's the docs. Okay. Did he take like an awkward hit or something on Sunday? What happened? Um, he just got in an awkward position. Yeah, and, and, you know, it's uh, pec stuff is usually this way. You know.
What did you, after looking at the film, Tino, uh, what did you think of his day and I guess the, the interception? What, I mean, yeah, we, we, the interception should never have happened. And, and uh, we, but uh, let me go this way. I thought Gino played a great game. He completed 75% of his passes and, you know, terrific rating to a couple of great touchdowns. Um, had some big plays in the game, you know, the, the couple of scramble shots that he had, the great throw that he had to Noah. Um, ran for a first down, which was great. Uh, the best thing that happened for, for, uh, for us yesterday offensively, we were converting third downs. We hit seven out of 13, and G was all over those. He scrambled to get one of them and, and hit a bunch of other ones. And, and uh, that was a, that's just a change in the rhythm of our style, and it's, it's something that we got we got to capture it because we're capable. We got the guys that can run the routes. We're, we're, we protected well. He can throw it. Uh, it's just been a bit of a mystery for us to be behind the numbers like uh, in third down. So this is what we should do. So I'm hoping that we can keep that going. Uh, I think Gino had a really good game coming off the other game, which there was some scrutiny and he took some heat and all that. And and uh, he's not going to be happy with his game unless it's perfect, you know. And and uh, so. But the throw on the sidelines, we just got uh, that's that's one he can't make, and he knows that. What did you think of the throw to Noah when you watched it? On oh, it was, it was, the the fact there was five DB or five defensive players all around him, and you couldn't see anybody else on the field on on the field or on the film. It was like, and it was there was there was just no margin for error there. Um, but he had great protection, and he had a chance to really see it. And, and he can make throws like that. And Noah can make catches like that, and they pulled it off. But that's that's pretty risky. But it was he was right. You know, he did it exactly right. How's, uh, how's DK feeling today? Um, we're hoping that you know we're going to start making some progress. You know, this week and, and see him get back on the field and all that. You know, um, so we'll see what happens. It the, the fumble snap maybe sounds like it was kind of just a harried situation or whatever. Yeah, we were going quick and and uh, they just didn't hit it right. You know, there's a there's a there's a precision to that that we we failed on. We didn't we need to practice it more. We didn't get it done right. Uh, it happened in a game. It should never ever happen. You know, and, and uh, so both guys take it. You know, uh, Olu and and Gino both. You know, they would both say it was their fault. Other than that play, how did Olu look in his first start? He did well. He he did just fine. Um, uh, he handled the game really well, you know, in managing the, uh, the, the, the communication up front. Um, he was in it the whole time. Evan was right there with him as they were going through it on the sidelines. But I, I thought he, he's a very poised young man, and he, he just can handle stuff. And, and uh, this was not uh, too big for him at all. He did well. After rewatching the film, that sequence down at the goal line where you guys were not able to punch it in, what did you see there? And what did you think about doing back-to-back -back shotgun runs being that close to the goal line? Well, we had a thought that we, we could we would we were threatening some other things by being there and and uh and we could still hit it hard almost it's almost like a sneak you know and so um we thought we could hit it and we wanted to see what happened and so we didn't do very well we didn't we knocked him off the ball like we needed to in, in that instance and uh Kenny hit it, you know, with everything he had, and we didn't make an inch in the first one and, and the next one got stuffed stuffed in the same fashion you know so um we got to do some things to get we have to get better there we have to count on that Petey, are you going to try to get Dariq uh, Young back to practice this week? Or is he at? He's really close. Um, he, he hasn't been released yet, in, as far as I know. Um, but he's really close to being there. It's either this week or next week. So he's he's running really hard and conditioning like crazy. And so um, you know, it's just around the corner. How's he, how's he Lucas? Nothing new. Nothing new that he's on. I can't tell you that he's ready to come back this week. Does the process work now with the de you get you get a, a, an exemption for him for a little while? Or? Yeah, he's got a week exemption potentially, and uh, but he he has been working out um, to the extent that he can practice this week, and he could practice and he could play this week is what if he can get through the week. Um, we got to find out where he is, and so we, it's somewhat unknown. But yet we're really. Um, we're, we're really pleased with the conditioning that he's done. He's been working like he's been practicing, so it's not like he's going to have to take a couple weeks of practice to get back to full speed. Uh, he's he's running full speed, so he's ready to roll. When was he pretty back, excited about that? When was he able to get back to full speed after the injury in the preseason? It's been I don't know. He's been here for a month or something, so uh, it's been a couple weeks. We, we would not say make that statement if it hadn't been for a couple weeks of full speed going and all that. But, and that's just running off to the side, right? Like he's only eligible to practice now. Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't practiced one day, and he hasn't been on the practice field with us at all. So he's had to do that, you know, with the trainers. Hey, Anthony Bradford. I know we talked about him, and you said he's played in big games, but what's making him be so consistent and just his play? Anthony Bradford. He, he's a gifted athlete. You know, he's 
big. He's really a big kid, and he moves his feet really well. He's a good athlete for a big man, and so he's capable. He's got great strength. Uh, I th we said, you know, if you watch him carefully, you'll see him really blast guys off the ball at time and do some really uh, physical, you know, uh, kinds of plays that make that separate guys, you know. And so um, there's been a lot of positives. He's still got a lot to learn. He's just getting going and, and all, but. Um, he physically can ha handle the, the work, you know, and, and he's capable of going up against just about anybody. Do you anticipate uh, Kenny McIntosh practicing? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. hoping Kenny's coming back out uh, on Wednesday to, to start running and going. We, we have that option. We've got to make sure everything fits right, but he's ready to go. Did you, did you feel like both of the, I think Boye got a roughing call and then I think Rick got a legal contact. What do you think about both of them back in the day? Um, they, there was reason to call both of them. Yeah, there was reason. There was something there. I mean, I, I don't know about the blow to the helmet. If the, I, I'm anxious to hear what their interpretation of it, because it was kind of a glance, you know, and it's got to, it's got to be a formidable hit to the helmet. But, um, you know, but he, he made contact. Did you have any stats yesterday, but Cameron Young. It seems like when the Cardinals were trying to run at him yesterday, that he was setting up a brick wall. How have you seen him progress here this first? He's doing well. Yeah, he, he's he he. What we're asking him to do is to be physical and, and not get knocked around and and uh, hold that line of scrimmage, you know, and be a factor. And he's he's very capable of doing that. And so we'll try to expand his role as we go. But that's what we're calling on him to do now, and we stuck him in there, you know, to, to play like that. Back he's doing good. I'm sorry. Back to Mafe's penalty. What's the coaching point there? He's trying to keep his hands up to block the pass. Uh, well, you can you can talk about he, he was coming down on the top. You know, he's coming on the on, down on the quarterback. You can try not to do that. You know, you can try to, you know, you're reaching and extending. They're coming from the side, so you don't you know hit helmet first. That's what we're trying to avoid. Yeah. Stone Forsyth. What did you think of him yesterday? I liked him. I thought he did a good job. Yeah, I, I was really really uh, happy with. with um, he was totally at ease with it, you know, poised to play in the situation, and, and uh, I thought he did a nice job. Yeah, and he gave us a, a, a good boost there. So could he be your right tackle for a while then if Abe's not back? Sure, he could. I would have no problem with Stone playing. He did a nice job. What have you thought of uh, Jamal's pass rushing opportunities so far? Is there more room for him to do more of that? There'll be some. Yeah, there'll be. Every now and then, we'll get some shots. <laughs> what have you thought of what you've seen from him so far in that aspect? Um, he's been in... in you know, kind of uh, in the in the Jamal mode. He's coming. He's you know he's coming hard and, and uh, he hasn't had that many chances yet. But you, know, you got to hit it right with the call and, and the opportunity with the protection and all that. But um, there'll be more to come. Was him playing all the snaps part of the plan, or is that how the game? He worked out that way. Yeah, he just fit fit that way. We thought we were going to do a couple different things. We didn't have to do it, and so we stayed with what we were doing. Physically, he came out of that okay. Yes. Julian Love played a lot more yesterday, and Trey didn't play quite as much as just kind of the way the game went or scheme. Yeah, or yeah, it went that way because we were in, in that package. Um, Trey missed a uh, day last week too, and, and uh, he was ready to play though, and, and did a nice job on special teams. Um, I have no hesitation when he gets in the game. It just didn't happen yesterday. Pete, what's what's the outlook for Brian Monet? Is he? Any close to being able to get back he's, here? He's still time? he's still behind behind the the timeline a little bit, you know. Yeah. So we're just waiting them out. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Okay.